top in our news at 6, CrossFit suffered a major loss after more than 500 workers were cut loose. But more industry may be on the way. NBC 10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with city leaders about how they're trying to bring some relief to workers and residents. After a tough loss, the city of Crossfit is getting the attention it desperately needs. We've had pellet mills that have come back to look at us. We had dimensional lumber mills that have come back and looked. But there is a bioenergy company that is committed to coming and building two refineries. Each one will employ approximately 85 people and that it will take another probably 200 to 250 people to supply all the resources. Smith says we have all the resources the company is looking for. Although they are committed, it's not final. They want to be here, but I don't want to give anybody any false hope. There's still a lot of hurdles that they have to get over before they'd be ready to pull the trigger. The community has been coming together to pray for the last 16 weeks. They've been praying for families that have been affected by the shutdown as well as just a miracle for the community. Many say that companies expressing interest doesn't just give them hope, it gives them peace. Our prayers are being heard and answered, and this is a great place, and it's, it's a place that loves the Lord. With that type of covering, many residents can't help but be confident for the future. The best is yet to come. That company is waiting on financing. If they receive that, they hope to break ground next spring. Reporting in CrossFit, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, NBC10, your local news leader. The community will continue to hold prayer services every week. You can join them on Tuesdays at the Cross at Centennial Park at 6 o'clock.